Hey friends, welcome back to my channel. My name is Katie and this is Catherine the 19th, the channel where we love to talk all things creativity, filmmaking, and travel. Today, I wanna to chat with you about why I think you should be shooting with prime lenses more often. Before we jump into this, let's define what a prime lens is versus a zoom lens or a multiple focal length lens. Basically, what a prime lens is, is a lens that only has one focal length. So for instance, the lens I'm shooting on right now is the 24 millimeter. You often will come across 50 millimeter, 35 millimeter, 85. Those are all lenses that can't zoom. Many of us, when we first get our DSLR, have the kit lens, which is a zoom, our multiple focal length lens, usually an 18 to 55. That allows you to use multiple focal lengths while shooting on the same lens. Now that we've defined what those are, let's talk about why using a prime is almost always a better option. The first reason why I think that using prime lenses is often a better choice than multiple focal length or zoom lenses is because you can almost always find prime lenses with a really low f-stop way cheaper than you will find any multiple focal length lens with a low f-stop. Having a low aperture opens you up to so much more of a cinematic filmmaking style. Everybody loves a blurry background or bokeh and that's something that you're gonna need a low f-stop like something like 1.4 to 1.8 to 2.8 kind of thing to achieve. My 24 millimeter, for instance, has a maximum aperture of 1.8. That allows me to have this blurry-ish background back here, but when I use my 50 millimeter, it can go down to 1.8. Whereas on the other hand, a kit lens like the 18 to 55 that comes with most Canon bodies is going to have a f-stop maximum of like 3.5. It's not going to give you the blurry background that you're looking for. You can get zoom lenses that do have a nice low f-stop, however, they're gonna be a lot more expensive and a lot heavier. So for the most part, if you wanna have that beautiful bokeh, you're gonna want a prime lens. Another reason why prime lenses are so important to your filmmaking journey is because they force you to be more physical with your shot. If you have a multiple focal length lens, you can easily stand in the same place and zoom in and out and get all kinds of different shots. But if you have a prime lens, you're gonna have to actually move your body and that kind of teaches you to be a part of the filmmaking process in a way that you wouldn't be if you could be stationary and changing your focal length. That maybe seems like an abstract tip, but I think it actually makes a big difference when you start to learn where you need to position yourself to get the visual outcome that you're looking for. All right, I think it's about time to take a quick break from this video for some Tim Hortons. Let's go. Even though it's kind of cold out today, the only drink I ever ordered from Tim Hortons is a frozen lemonade, and it's not cold enough to make me rethink my decision on that. Let's be honest, I'm Canadian and I grew up getting off the rink and getting the slushy after skating practice, so here we go. Cheers. The third reason why I think that prime lenses are so great for developing your filmmaking skills and just for making videos in general is because they really help you to understand focal lengths and what focal lengths are best for what type of shot. In my experience anyway, when I was shooting with the kit lens that came with my Canon T3i way back in the day, I would love to just stand around and whip the zoom back and forth and you know, punch in, punch out, do all this stuff um, without really understanding what the benefits of each different focal length was. P.S. There's somebody mowing the lawn here at the park, so I hope it's not totally terrible for my audio, but we're gonna try anyway. Focal lengths are more than just how zoomed in you are. Generally, when you have a longer focal length, like a 50, 85, 200, up on that kind of end, what you're gonna get is a more compressed image. And when you have a wider angle, say like a 10 or 16 millimeter, what you're gonna get is the features of the face more expanded. And what I mean by that is we've all seen the classic GoPro selfie that makes everybody's nose look super wide and kind of clownish. So what Prime Lens has helped you to do is understand those different kinds of focal lengths and the kind of image that they produce. And then it helps you to better decide which focal length is right for the shot that you are trying to get. I 
freaking love that I can fit this little drone in my backpack. In general, I think one of the best things about shooting with prime lenses is that it just makes you be more creative. It engages your technical knowledge of cameras by making you think about what different focal lengths are best for what shot. It makes you physically move your body to make the framing right just now. I was gonna be really close to the camera, but because I have a crop sensor camera and I'm shooting on a 24, it's really more like a 50 millimeter, so I was like, my face is just filling the whole shot, and I do a lot of shots like that because it's easy to be close to the camera. So I was like, why don't I back up? And all of a sudden, it's so much more interesting. So here we are, and the sun's coming out. Beautiful. So in general, I think that using prime lenses makes you get a little bit more creative and it's gonna make your filmmaking all the more better. All right, and I think that's gonna be it for me today. Thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you found this helpful and I hope I inspired you to consider using prime lenses more often in your filmmaking journey. I'm gonna head home now and do some more client work, so I'm gonna sign off. But if you like this video, make sure you give it a thumbs up. I really appreciate the encouragement. Comment below what lenses you're currently using and why you like them, maybe why you don't like them. Let's chat about it. As always, make sure you hit that subscribe button so you don't miss any of my future videos. And while you're down there, hit the little notification bell so that you will get a notification every time I upload. P.S. It's every day. I'll see you there. <laughs> As always, I love you all. I hope you're following your dreams and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.